Hey everybody, it's Andrew back again with another video. And today we have the Dell Latitude 7440. This is an ultralight laptop that actually brings a lot to the table when it comes to ultra portability. It's pretty light. You're gonna see the weight in a moment. Uh, very portable, it gives you a really nice display. I have the one with the QHD plus resolution. That's 2560 by 1600. It's also a touch display, yes, with a matte finish on it. So you don't have to deal with any necessary uh, glare or reflections, I gotta love that. It's got optional 5G modem in it. You also got uh, a lot of great features, 13th gen processor, a really nice keyboard, and a really nice overall look. Very business-like and very portable at the same time. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the Dell Latitude 7440 Ultralight here for 2023. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unboxing, I just want to let everyone know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by Dell. I'm not being sponsored by Dell. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. Dell is not getting copy approval. That means they're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this unit is on loan from Dell. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. So without further ado, let's get this out of the box. Okay, right off the bat, check how small this power charger is. It is pretty minuscule, and this is a 60 watt power charger. So I like to see that, especially when we're looking at ultra portables, ultra lights here. We definitely like to see that. We get our USB-C uh, cable here, so that is good. And then of course, you get your power cord. All right, we'll get a measurement of weight with travel all in. We'll get to that in a moment. You get some documentation here. Uh, Latitude 7440, it says it right there. You get some warranty, safety, regulatory information, yada, yada, yada. And I gotta say, the river color is pretty beautiful. I like it. It's almost like a grayish, bluish color. It's actually pretty nice. You can see the underside here. We'll look at that in a moment. You can actually see the fan right there. And then of course, Here's that river color, magnesium alloy, super light, wow. And one of the things I, I'm gonna like about this is the fact that you do get pretty nice port selection. We're gonna look at that in a moment, but you don't skimp on the weight in terms of portability, extreme portability. And that is of course the name of the game. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if we can open this with one finger. You can actually, wow, that's pretty good. So let's do that again. Yeah, you can definitely go there and look at that. You can go back 180 degrees. You're looking at 1.226 kilograms. So very close to what they're saying. I don't see it 1.05 kilograms, but that's my scale. But let's get a total travel weight because a lot of you are gonna throw this in your bag, of course, with the power charger, with the USB-C cable and with the power cord. 1.47 or 1.469 to be exact. Three pounds, 3.8 ounces, very travel friendly, folks. Pretty good. Okay, let's check out the port selection. On the left side is an HDMI 2.0 port, and then you get two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, supporting data, charge, and display out. Now, moving over to the right side is a SIM tray for the optional 5G modem. That is always great for the mobile road warrior. You get a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack, and you get two legacy ports. Uh, those are two USB type A ports. They're 3.2 Gen 1, and that is great to see, of course. And then finally, rounding out the ports is a Kensington lock slot. That is all the ports you get on this. Now, notably missing, there's no micro SD card reader that you got last year. You don't get it this year. They done away with that so a little bit of a downer there but overall pretty decent port selection especially for an ultra portable now to get inside the laptop it is really easy there are eight phillips head captive screws all you need to do is loosen them pry off the bottom plate with a guitar pick or a pry tool and it's that easy you're in there's nothing else to do there so once you're inside you'll notice a single fan for cooling you'll notice the 57 watt hour battery battery life by the way is pretty good we're going to get into it later on in this review 
Now, my review unit has a 2242 SSD, so that is the only SSD slot in here. It is M.2, so it is user upgradable. So if you need more storage, you have that option. And as you can see from these reads and writes, these are what we would expect with an M.2 2242. So not the fastest when you compare it to the larger sized SSDs, the 2280s, but this definitely will get the job done, no doubt about it. And like most ultra portables nowadays, the RAM is soldered into the motherboard, not user upgradable. So just keep that in mind. Now, this unit has 16 gigabytes of LP DDR5 RAM running at 4,800 megahertz and in dual channel mode. And you're looking at Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.3, combo card soldered into the motherboard, not upgradable by the user. So just keep that in mind. But Wi-Fi 6E is working great. And so is the Bluetooth on this unit. Now, when it comes to the optional mobile broadband 5G, there is an option here and great news because the antenna leads are already included and configured here. All you need to do is just get the modem. That's an option. A lot of you business users would definitely want to have, especially when you get work done on the road and want to have an always on secure connection. Now, there are two options when it comes to display, a full HD option, 1920 by 1200. I don't have that one, but I do have the 14-inch QHD Plus option with touch layer on it. It's a 2560 by 1600 resolution. It's also a Comfort View Plus display. It's an IPS display, and it's pretty great. You're looking at deep blacks, good white point, good contrast. You're looking at good coverage of the color gamut, and it is color accurate. So if you want to do some content creation in Lightroom, Photoshop, even some light video editing and maybe 1080p, certainly can get the job done with this display. Now, it's also a touch layer, as I mentioned earlier, that worked well when it comes to pinch to zoom. Navigating the OS with your finger worked well. Now, it's also a matte display, so you don't have to deal with any unnecessary glare or reflections. That's a a big bonus especially for those who want to get work done and not be distracted by any unnecessary glare and when you want to watch a movie on your downtime then netflix amazon youtube has been very good with this panel no complaints on that front now one thing to keep in mind this is a 60 hertz refresh rate no option for higher refresh rate not too unusual in a business focused ultra portable the name of the game here would be longevity and battery life which we'll get into in a moment it's really good and you don't want to be bogged down by lower battery life due to a higher refresh rate which will eat more power so it makes a lot of sense here and they also moved to a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. One of the things when I looked at the 7330 last year with its 16 to 9, a rather dated aspect ratio in 2022. Well, this one is a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, more in line with all the modern laptops here. Good to see that move. Very welcome indeed. This is the camera on the Dell Latitude 7440 Ultralight here for 20. 23 it's a five megapixel camera it's an ir camera that means you can log in with face recognition with windows hello what do you think about the video quality which here you're seeing 1440p video uh, what do you think about the audio quality of the mics is it doing a good job of suppressing the background noise and so forth uh, let me know in the comment section below there's also the studio effects where you have the uh, auto framing. You also have the background blur effect and all that. It's all here. So if you're going to do any Zoom calls, video conferencing, it all works well. Again, I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comment section below. Okay, let's talk about the performance. And this has the Core i5-1345U. That, of course, is 10 cores, 8 efficient cores, 2 performance cores, Intel 13th generation. It is a 15-watt CPU. Now, as you can see from these benchmark results, good for everyday tasks, Microsoft Office, email, web browsing, it all worked well. Good single-core score, as you can see from the Cinebench R23. Single-core score of 1707, very good for those everyday tasks. And, of course when you look at the multi-core score very impressive for a core i5 processor here getting 97 67 in that multi-core score pretty pretty good now when it comes to gaming really not much of a gaming laptop this is a business focused ultra light portable laptop so just keep that in mind but you can play some games on your downtime if you lower some of the settings you can get some playable frame rates in some of the more popular titles however the bottleneck really is going to be the integrated iris sexy graphics although you can theoretically add an external GPU via one of the two Thunderbolt 4 ports that this has.
And when I ran the Time Spy stress test to see if this will thermal throttle under heavy load, it got a score of 94.9%, meaning it detected a little bit of thermal throttling, but not too bad as the passing score would have been 97%, so pretty close, so pretty good when it comes to thermal throttling. And when it comes to the surface temperatures, it did heat up above the keyboard below the display, getting as high as about 55 degrees Celsius. So that's where the heat seems to be dissipating from. Of course, there's a vent there. And then, of course, uh, you can see on the underside, not too bad, although you will notice a few hot spots here and there. But the overall takeaway is, yes, it can get a little bit hot, but nothing too outrageous, nothing too unreasonable. And when it comes to the fan noise under heavy load, reaching about 42 decibels at its peak. So not too bad. I've heard a lot worse on other laptops, but a little bit noticeable when you are pushing this under heavy load. But when you're doing normal tasks and the balance mode and so forth, not much of an issue. Now let's talk about battery life, and it's quite good on the Dell Latitude 7440 Ultralight here, sporting a 57 watt hour battery. Now when we compare it to its sibling, the 9442-in-1 that I recently reviewed, which has a slightly bigger battery at 60 watt hours, you'll see that it did very comparable. In fact, it got 12 hours exactly on the PC Mark 10 Modern Office battery test. Very impressive, especially for an ultralight that we need that longevity from. This certainly delivers. When I did the video playback test, 12 hours and four minutes another impressive result the overall takeaway is excellent battery life from this ultra portable laptop and for those of you wondering yes you can just about open it up with one finger as far as this is a really light laptop not something you normally do but you can sort of do it on this and the screen goes back 180 degrees that's a good feature to have because that means you can get some pretty good viewing angles and the hinges are on nice and tight very little if any screen wobble detected when i was typing so that's a little bit of a pet peeve i didn't notice much screen wobble that's good keyboard's pretty good on this it's not the best keyboard i've ever used overall but a very good keyboard nonetheless not quite as good as the ThinkPad keyboards, in my opinion, which are the best, but pretty good to get worked on on. It's a good keyboard, don't get me wrong. Not quite as good as the 9440 Zero Lattice keyboard. That's pretty special in that model, and I really love using and typing on it, that's for sure. Now, as far as the multi-stage backlight, that worked well. Easy to see the keys, easy to see the contrast. Very good for getting work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment. And as far as the touchpad is concerned, you're looking at a precision touchpad that was very responsive when it comes to scrolling and all the gestures. Everything works as you'd expect. Good job on that front. The Latitude 7440 Ultralight sports quad speakers, two top firing speakers and two bottom firing speakers for surprisingly good sound, pretty decent volume, good mids, decent bass for an ultra portable. That's pretty much unheard of. So let's give it a listen and you let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about the audio? I think it sounds pretty good. Let's give it a listen. Okay, let's bring it all home. What do I think about the Dell Latitude 7440 Ultralight here for 2023? A lot to like here, ladies and gentlemen. I think they made a lot of the right improvements here for 2023, going with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio. The fact that you can get this with a QHD Plus display, a high res display, and it's also a matte display. And it's a touch display to boot. So really a lot of features here. Uh, it's got a good keyboard, good touchpad, good performance out of that Core i5 13th gen processor processor optional five megapixel webcam that worked well has a studio effects uh, quiet fan noise even under heavy load it wasn't really overly loud that was pretty good and it has some really nice quad speakers top firing bottom firing speakers they produce pretty nice sound not something we normally see on an ultra portable negatives there's no sd card reader they dropped it on this model the magnesium alloy will give you a little bit of flex in the chassis the build quality will not be quite as good as an aluminum build just keep that in mind 
and it has non-upgradable RAM. That is unfortunate, but that's been pretty much par for the course here in 2023. But my overall takeaway is the Latitude 7440 Ultralight is a great choice for those travelers who want to get business work done on the road, have an always-on connection with the optional 5G, and also get work done as far as video conferencing with that excellent 5 megapixel IR webcam. The overall total package is really good, especially with that great battery life. This is a very good choice here for 2023. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and of course, Threads. Yes, I'm on Threads. Links for everything will be in the description below. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I'll see you in the next video.